Gui Santos went off in his first summer league game, and even though the Warriors lost by almost 20 points, Santos showed what appeared to be a very polished scoring arsenal and a good feel for the game. I like his confidence, calmness, and swagger, and he just seemed to be going at his own pace, not sped up or going too slow, but he was doing a great job of reading the defense and letting the game come to him. So let's break down Gui Santos as a player and find out a little more of how the Warriors may have discovered his talent. Coming into the 2022 NBA Draft, Gui Santos was a relatively unknown prospect. Compared to Patrick Baldwin Jr.'s draft bio on NBA.com, there was barely any information on Santos regarding his background, skill set, and analysis of his overall game. We do know, however, that his parents played professional basketball, so he's grown up around the game his whole life. Having said that, I'll read the prospect overview about Santos on NBA.com. Santos was born June 22, 2002, in Brasilia, Brazil. His father, Davison, is a former pro basketball player of five years in the NBB. His mother, Lucinade, also played basketball. Santos began his pro career with Minus in the NBB during the 2018-2019 season, though he saw sparing playing time until 2020-2021. During that season, he started 23 of 42 appearances and averaged 7.8 points, 5.2 rebounds, and 1.5 assists in 20.2 minutes. In 2021 to 2022, he averaged 10.5 points, 5.0 rebounds, and 2.2 assists in 25.8 minutes. Santos also has national team contributions. During the 2019 FIBA South America U-17 Championship in Chile, he helped Brazil secure a gold medal and scored 27 points against Argentina in the final. During the 2022 FIBA America Cup qualification, Santos made his senior national team debut. Playing four games, he averaged 8.3 points, 5.8 rebounds, one assist, one steal, and one block in 20 minutes per game. He's listed as 6'8", 185 pounds. With his basketball background and international experience in mind, Santos praised Barbosa in his career in a recent NBC article, which states, I can say he's the biggest idol, Santos said, when asked how big Barbosa was for him growing up in Brazil. Everybody wants to be like him. He's a big idol there. Santos called it amazing to continue to learn from Barbosa and be around him even more. The recently turned 20-year-old forward played with Barbosa for the Brazilian club, minus in the 2019-20 season, when Barbosa led the league in scoring at 37 years old. The two quickly formed a big brother, little brother bond, with Barbosa taking Santos under his wings. The Warriors are all about finding hidden talent in the draft. So having someone like Barbosa on staff this past season no doubt helped the Warriors draft Santos. Barbosa did leave for the Sacramento Kings to be on Mike Brown's staff, but his relationship with Santos will always be special. I think Santos will prove to a lot of teams that he should have been selected higher and that they'll regret passing on him. Next, let's go over Santos's physical attributes as well as the scoring skill set he's shown in Summer League. On NBA.com, Santos is listed as a guard, coming in at 6'6", 185 pounds. So I'm sure that not only could he play both guard positions, but he could likely be a nice floor spacing forward as well. I'm certain that this positional versatility caught Bob Myers' attention, and it was something Barbosa probably raved about. I've heard some people say different things about Santos' height and weight, regarding that he's actually closer to 6'8 and over 200 pounds. He's looked pretty tall in Summer League, so I'm assuming he could be more like 6'7 or 6'8 with shoes on. Nonetheless, that would be even better if he's actually 6'8, 210 pounds because that shows he has an NBA-ready body and has the potential to play and guard all five positions. He basically has a build of someone like Igudala, Toscano, or Porter, and we've seen how successful and valuable two-way forwards are in the NBA with their defensive versatility and shooting abilities. I think Luis Santos has that type of potential, and given that he just turned 20, he's got a lot of room to add to his game and become a valuable two-way forward that every team would love to have. With his summer league play, Santos put up great numbers against the Kings in his first summer league action. In just 25 minutes, Santos had 25 points, 6 rebounds, 1 assist, 3 steals, and 1 block, shooting 7 of 13 from the field, 1 of 4 from 3, and 8 of 11 from the free throw line. However, he did have 6 turnovers, as he needs to tighten up his ball handling and be smarter with the basketball. I think that will improve with more reps, and that will definitely be something the Warriors development staff can help Santos with. He's a young player who still needs to polish his shooting touch and handles, which is common for many rookies. Santos didn't have the best outing in his second summer league game against the Lakers, only putting up 7 points, 2 rebounds, and 2 assists, shooting 3 of 7 from the field with only 1 of 4 from the free throw line. He also struggled again with 4 turnovers, but I don't think he got as many opportunities on the ball to create in this game. 
With that said, one thing that jumps out for me right away from his stats is the free throws. Santos was aggressive and not afraid to attack the basket with 11 free throw attempts in his first game. I think Santos knows that the best way to get your jump shot going is to put pressure on the defense by getting to the free throw line. He did struggle from three, but I like that he didn't just settle. He clearly knows how to create for himself and score when his shot isn't falling. I think that's a great sign going forward. Another thing that stands out is his defense. Three steals and a block in his first game isn't bad at all. He has active hands and can often bother smaller guards with his size and length. I have no doubt that height and length will give him a huge advantage against smaller guards. Hopefully he can continue to take advantage of mismatches throughout the rest of Summer League. However, out of all his skills, his offensive game as a whole really stands out. As I mentioned, yes, the turnovers might be an issue early on because of his ball control abilities but he seems to have a well-polished ability to attack off the dribble with his size, and despite not having the best three-point percentage in Brazil, he's got great mechanics and has got a smooth mid-range game. His potential as a two-way point forward is sky high, and with the Warriors' ability to develop talent, we could be looking at another diamond in the rough that can become a future cornerstone of the Warriors' dynasty. Overall, I really like Gui Santos' game. He's got a great scoring package on top of some nice confidence and swagger to go with. The only question now is will he make the main roster? Obviously, the Warriors have a few more roster spots open, and they could even sign him to a two-way to help him get some G League experience. The injuries to Baldwin Jr. and Rollins will no doubt give Santos some opportunity, so maybe that will open up a spot for him on the main roster. I think Santos will get a spot, whether it's a two-way or minimum contract, but it's likely he won't get much minutes this season. I'm glad the Warriors drafted him, and I'm stoked to see what he does going forward. So I hope you guys enjoyed the breakdown. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.